Good morning and welcome back to the last video in our cruise trip. There we are, getting ourselves packed up and ready. Hello. <laughs> I can't see. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I was like, pointing it at me. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking a bit. Greasy, that's all a suntan lotion. Ooh, oh, yes. Ooh. So, today is our disembarkation day as we say goodbye to Mamelo Explorer 2 and are flying back to Birmingham due to leave at 6 pm tonight. However, between now and then, we are well, we have to go and do the immigration pass bit of it. At, um, so, hopefully, that's quite straightforward. Hopefully. And then we're going to go off and explore for a few hours, try and get to a beach because we're in Barbados, I feel like we have to go to a beach. And then we've got our cabin until half past two, um, having paid extra for it, and we need to be off by 2.35 to get the coach. So hopefully, I'm going to jinx it now, hopefully everything runs smoothly today, but let's find out. That was quick and painless. You know, 10 minutes. It is, I think, 29 degrees right now. It feels it. Oh, sweaty! Okay, yeah. <laughs> so we've got off a ship earlier than we thought we'd be able to, which is great. We're gonna take a 10 minute walk along these barriers. And then we're gonna hopefully get a taxi to take us to a beach. So we've been recommended Sandy Lane Beach. Apparently that's where like all the celebs hang out, so of course we're gonna fit in. Uh, <laughs> and it's where Simon, Ga Simon Cowell's house is. So maybe there's a bit of celeb spotting as well as a bit of dipping our toes in the sea. I think we might knock on Simon's door. Yeah. Watch your X Factor talent. Oh, actually no, don't, don't, Cheers, don't, don't tell them. But we will aim to be back on the ship. I think we said for half 12? Uh, yeah, yeah, so that we've got two hours to, to kind of just... Freshen yeah. up. And it gives us time if anything goes wrong. Yeah. And there's a good chance it will, I mean, let's be honest. So. <laughs> it might be easy to get a taxi to the beach, but how easy is it going to be to get a taxi yes. back from the beach? I mean, if we were in St Lucia, we wouldn't have a problem because everyone was shouting taxi. Yeah. <laughs> and we haven't seen many other cruise ships this, uh, on this week. Probably because we've been at sea for <laughs> a few days. But we have uh, kept bumping into the one which is in port with us today, which is the Royal Caribbean Rhapsody of the Sea. And look at how busy that is, isn't it? So while it might have felt a little bit confusing and stuff trying to work out what we were doing, it's definitely better than that. Yeah, I mean, the ship looks impressive. Yeah. Not going to turn down a free trip, so you know. <laughs> Royal Caribbean, if you end up watching this, you know. <laughs> People getting in through the back as well. Right, so we've made it as far as another taxi. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was lush. It was. Don't know if they've got to the Hello. Oh, you can smell the money. Sandy Lane Beach was lush, the water was so so clear and it was warm and the sand was that proper powdery Caribbean sand. So very happy with that as our little stop. Yes, it was so lovely. Just something to bear in mind is that the taxi driver did not quite drop us off yes. at the correct beach because I think we maybe wanted to um, drop us to his mate. But either way, just make sure you're at the beach you think you are um, yeah. because it's not a particularly easy beach to find access to either. There wasn't much for us to be able to do because it's Sandy Lane Beach. It seems to be completely sort of shouldered by hotels, all very pricey looking, very nice hotels. Didn't spot any celebrities that we know of, but really nice, uh, definitely worth it. And it cost us $15 each in the taxi to get there. But we then went and uh, had a little look around and got the bus back to Bridgetown which we paid $3.50 each. Now, we don't know if that was the right currency or not, do we? But No, we're not sure. But even still, it was fun. The guy was very happy to use his horn beeping around. It is a Sunday, so lots of the shops are closed, but that's okay for us because it means it's a bit quieter. We're now just taking a lovely walk along the marina area, and we're gonna get back to the ship. Uh, one thing I thought I'd mention, because it has been actually really useful when we've been abroad without our data, without Wi-Fi, you know, a lot of time in the UK or, or even in Europe, you know, we'll be using Google Maps to sort of find out where we are. So there's a, a, an app that I downloaded and used whilst on this trip called maps.me, and I'll link to it in the description. But it's proving really useful. You download the map of where you're gonna be, and then it just uses the GPS to show you on the map where you are and which direction you're heading. So it doesn't use your data. So yes, when we were in the taxi going to the beach, and I was like, hmm, we're nearly there. And then when he dropped us off, I was like, we're not quite there. So then we just kind of walked in the right direction um, and problem solved. But so maps.me, not sponsored, no commission, no um, nothing from it. But if you're, if you enjoy traveling and exploring around, I definitely know that I feel a bit better when I've got access to a map and can figure out whereabouts we are, or at least try. So that might be one that's useful for you. So we have, Right, so we've got 10 minutes now until we need to leave the room. Dave has already checked under the bed. Are you going to check again, just in case? I've checked all the covers and I did find a pair of socks that you left in there. Which now makes me even more cautious thinking what else is being left. Not many pounds. I feel really bad. I feel like I'm not fast enough. <laughs> so we got back to the, to the ship and as we went for some lunch in the buffet. And then we come back to the room for about an hour now, I'd say. It's just nice being able to being able to freshen up, being able to have a shower. Yeah, and I think the £45 fee that we paid for it is worth every penny. Yeah. When we went up to the buffet, you could just see everyone sat around <laughs> and like, just waiting to go home. Where we've been out Looking miserable. Really miserable. Like, we've been out and had like, a really nice day. Yeah. So, Absolutely. Um, yeah, for £45, spend the money. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. So, I think I'm probably going to sign off here, hopefully this will be the end, so uh, in which case then I hope you've enjoyed seeing what we got up to on our first ever cruise around the Southern Caribbean Islands and a few days at sea. I think we might do a, a video or two, like not vlogs, but a couple of videos to, or a video at least to share about our thoughts and summarise what we've learned and bits 
just uh, maybe be helpful for other uh, first time cruisers. So, uh, so whilst it's the end of, of this series of videos, we've, then, we've then still got Centre Parks at Longleat to come up, Centre Parks at Windfell, so our first time to Windfell, which is the uh, final Centre Parks in the UK for us to visit. And then in May, we have got 10 nights in Orlando, Florida, where we're gonna do some Walt Disney World, some Universal, some shopping, some iDrive, all of that stuff, Bath and Body Works, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of stuff to look forward to. Including the River Cruise. Yes. Yeah. And so, and then, whilst this has been our first cruise, uh, next year, next November, well, at the end of the year, so November into December, we're going to be doing our first river cruise, which sounds even more fancy than a normal cruise. And that is going to be with Morella. And we're going to be doing the... Christmas markets through Germany. So it's a five night cruise. We're going from Gatwick, uh, flying over, and then, yeah, five nights on the Red Skyler. This, uh, I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's the Skyler. Things could change between now and then, though, couldn't they? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've enjoyed this, um, then, yeah, loads of things to look forward to. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do consider subscribing. However, there will be more cruises to come. Spoiler. Oh, will that? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's treating me? <laughs> so, I think, uh, any final thoughts? Anything else that we haven't covered? Probably, but yeah. Maybe we'll cover them in the next video that yeah. we, um, we're doing. Right, let's go. Let's go and join all the happy campers on the bus to head back to the airport. So, thank you so much for coming along on our adventures. I hope you've enjoyed the videos, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.